What about me? Oh no. I'm going to continue the story of Josephine Baker. Let's dive in. Josephine Baker was adored and constantly surrounded by menageries of animals. I'm talking dogs, cats, birds, she had everything around her. Now, early on in her childhood, she learned to be quite mistrustful of people. And um, what she decided to do instead was she used to show all of her love and affection to all these beautiful animals, including a poor dog called Three Legs, who only, of course, had three legs and belonged to her unkind employer. Her dancing was described by reviewers in animal terms, so she was sometimes called a kangaroo, a panther, a monkey, or a tropical bird. In fact, Josephine actually did claim that she learned how to dance from watching the animals in the St. Louis Zoo. Now, this may have been true, seeing as many of the black dancers of the day were based on imitating animal movements. So you had, like, the turkey trot, God knows where they even got that name from. They had the bunny hug, they had the rooster dip, and they had the... something else. What was it they had? No, the kangaroo dip and the rooster strut. I don't know where they get these names from. I'm guessing that they all sort of went like this. And... That's, I guess, my kangaroo dip. I'm not quite sure if I did it right. <laughs> Josephine said about her own dancing, I wasn't really naked, I just didn't have any clothes on. Surely that's not the same thing, right? <laughs> so, what do you think about Josephine Baker's story so far? If you like it, make sure you do drop us a comment down below. And if you'd like to find out what's coming up next, then you have to subscribe.